MC Price Manipulation Exposed Today, we're going to delve into the intriguing world of FTX alleged manipulation of both AMC and Bitcoin prices, a saga that's poised to face the spotlight of legal scrutiny. Plus, we'll explore Elon Musk's recent musings about disinformation spreaders within certain companies. As highlighted by Chris Terry's tweet, he's dropped a bombshell claiming that Caroline Ellison has accused Sam Bankman-Fried of tinkering with Bitcoin prices to keep them artificially under the $20,000 mark. This explosive revelation has sent shockwaves through the financial landscape, sparking concerns about potential price tampering and financial misconduct during the FTX trial. In the same vein, the AMC ape has chimed in, asserting that FTX might have applied similar manipulative tactics to control AMC's price. It's a tantalizing prospect, and we're all eager to see how this narrative unfolds in the courtroom. The big question lingering in the air is whether these stock-backed tokens have a role to play in this tangled web of financial impropriety. If you recall, Brett Harrison, the former head of FTX US, once revealed that FTX was selling stocks in the form of tokens, Sam Bankman-Fried echoed this sentiment, suggesting that buying stock-backed tokens was an excellent way to avoid the dreaded buy button being disabled, a reference to the events of January 2021. Brett and Sam both claimed that these tokens had a one-to-one -one backing ratio with real shares, meaning that each token represented a genuine share. FTX even went as far as declaring that 400 million AMC stock-backed tokens were backed by real AMC shares held by the custodian CM Equity. However, as the FTX trial continues to unearth startling revelations, it seems likely that this one-to-one -one backing may not have been as solid as once thought. The possibility of shares being sold into the market without proper backing cannot be dismissed. But that's not all. Zaymet has tweeted some intriguing insights about Bitcoin, and these findings may very well be applicable to AMC too. Zaymet suggests that FTX, along with Alameda Research, manipulated the markets in multiple instances from 2017 through to 2023. They attempted to suppress Bitcoin's price, but it often defied their control. Bitcoin had significant breakthroughs in 2017 and 2020, breaking the 5 to 10K price range. In 2021, the floodgates opened, with Bitcoin surging past the 20K mark and pushing further toward 60K and beyond. This clearly illustrates that market makers, in their bid to suppress the prices of various assets like Bitcoin and AMC, have faced numerous setbacks. These manipulations aren't isolated incidents. They've recurred over time, and it may not be long before Bitcoin, AMC, GameStop, and others experience another explosive rally. Switching gears, Elon Musk recently shared an intriguing post by Mike Benz, which draws attention to NewsGuard's involvement in a plot to encourage governments to financially cripple alternative news sources. NewsGuard collaborated with the EU on a new disinformation code of practice and promoted businesses compliant with disinformation and censorship laws. Essentially, NewsGuard offers services tailored to meet the standards for disseminating misinformation. This implies that advertisers and tech companies are knowingly and legally involved in spreading disinformation or misinformation. While these actions may not be deemed illegal, they underscore the staggering $2.6 billion backing the dissemination of misinformation through news companies. Despite the constant stream of disinformation from mainstream media outlets, AMC seems poised to continue its journey to reap billions of dollars in profits. With Taylor Swift's film already in circulation, a Beyoncé film in the works, and a Katy Perry film on the horizon, the future looks bright. Gollum Stocks has hinted at a potential partnership between AMC and Katy Perry, suggesting that a concert movie may be in the works. A fan account even reported that Katy Perry is set to film a full show of her Las Vegas residency, offering $250 to attendees, with the possibility of the performance hitting cinemas. This could translate into another billion dollars at the box office, with AMC poised to claim a 43% share. The shorts have been desperately suppressing AMC's price in recent weeks, 
because the company is now on the brink of generating not just substantial revenue, but substantial profits as well. What was once a struggling enterprise is now primed to become a cash-rich, debt-free powerhouse, on track to surpass even some S&P 500 giants in terms of profitability. In conclusion, the financial world is rife with intrigue and revelations. FTX alleged price manipulation, Elon Musk's disinformation revelations, and AMC's potential for colossal profits all contribute to a narrative that continues to captivate the financial world. The stage is set for these developments to unfold and shape the future of the financial landscape. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.